Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install the best PlayStation 3 emulator for Windows. All you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on my website, which is where you can get the download links. Once you have clicked on the PlayStation 3 emulator download link, you will end up on a page that looks like this. All you need to do now is click on download and we now need to scroll down and click on download for Windows. And you now need to go save file. If we now go back to the main page and go across to compatibility, there is a huge list of all the supported PlayStation 3 games that are currently playable. And as you can see at the minute, there is 933 PS3 games that are 100% playable. If I just click on playable, and there's the huge list, as you can see, there's lots of games there. If we scroll down, we can go to page seven and we can scroll down again. And there, there's just hundreds of games, as you can see, which is fantastic. And that is why I find this is the best PS3 emulator for Windows. If we now go across to quick start, you will see a list of the system requirements to run this PS3 emulator. The minimum system requirements aren't actually that bad, but the recommended are requiring quite a decent PC. As you can see for the memory, you need eight gig or greater. You also need a Nvidia or a AMD graphics card. And for the CPU, you need a Intel quad core or above. And for AMD, you need a hexa-core and above. Once the file has finished downloading, we now need to open up the file by simply clicking on it. You now need to select all the files that are in the folder and we now need to right click on our desktop and go new folder. And we want to just call this PS3. And we now want to open up this folder and you simply want to drag all these files into this folder. And once that is finished, we can now close this folder here down. And we now need to click on the other link that's on my website. And you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to go ahead and press download now. And we need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading, we now need to drag this file into our PS3 folder. And we can now open up the RPC s3.exe and there we go this is our PlayStation 3 emulator you now need to click on I have read the quick start guide do not show again and press continue you now need to click in the top left hand corner on file and click install firmware and we now need to select the PS3 update.pup file and go open and it will begin to install the firmware. And there we go, the PS3 emulator is now complete. We can now go ahead and dump our old PS3 games onto our computer and start to run them. Unfortunately, I cannot show you how to download any of the PS3 games, but I'm sure a little Google will help you out. I'm now going to go through a few of the settings on this emulator for you. If we click on file, as you can see, this is where we can boot our games from. If we now go across to emulation, we can stop and start our games. If we go across to configuration, we have a few settings in here we can adjust. I'm going to go ahead and click on CPU. And this is all the settings for our CPU. As you can see here, we have our PPU decoder. And we have below our SPU decoder. And we have our firmware settings and we also have a few additional settings here if we go across to gpu we have our renderer at the moment mine's on OpenGL. if i just click on the drop down we can even choose direct x but it does say do not use we then have our graphics device 
and we have our aspect ratio and our frame limit. We also have anti-analyzing and our resolution. And on the right hand side here, we have a few more additional settings. If we go across to audio, we have a few settings there. And if we carry on going across, we have a lot more settings. And there we go. That is about it for this emulator. Like I said, it is one of the best PS3 emulators for Windows. I hope this video has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.